Do follow me into the long room, one of the highlights of the tour. Imagine this is a, a day on the Australia versus England, a Nashes match, it doesn't get much bigger than that. Uh, the players will uh, enter this room to maybe 400 members. Visitor players will enter it through that door there at the far end of the long room. England players will enter it through this door at this side because that's where their respective dressing rooms are. So several hundred members in here. The players will be escorted along the back here and they will get to this point. They'll start to get, on, for some of them, their first view of the ground outside. They will be escorted through the members to the doors here. Even experienced players who've done that walk many times say they still get a chill in the hairs on the back of their necks when they do that walk. It is so special and unique. So a really special feeling here. Unless, of course, your name is Ian Botham. So take your mind back to 1981. Ashes match here at Lords, Australia versus England. It doesn't get any bigger than that. The England captain was Ian Botham. Botham was out for a duck in the first innings. He followed that up with a duck in the second innings. When he got back to these doors awaiting to face those members, what do you think those members decided to do? Well, they simply turned their back on him and he was made to walk back to the England dressing room uh, in absolute silence. He said that that was one of the worst feelings of his life and the next day he handed in his resignation as England captain. But shows the character of that man because he wanted to continue playing for England, which he did. And in the next game of the Ashes series at Headingley in Yorkshire, under the captaincy of Mike Brearley, Botham scored 149 in one innings and, was, and took six wickets. He was made man of the match, but more importantly, that series became known as Botham's Ashes.